is a kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from variables are separable method so let's get started given differential equation sin inverse of dy by dx equals to x plus y solution given differential equation is sin inverse of dy by dx equals to x plus y. Let x plus y equals to z. Now differentiate both sides with respect to x. Then dy dx of x plus y equals to d by dx of z then dx by dx plus dy by dx equals to dz by dx so this becomes dx by dx is 1 plus dy by dx equals to dz by dx Okay, so from this, you can write dy by dx equals to dz by dx minus 1. Okay, so we can replace this by dz by dx minus 1 and x plus y by z. Okay, so consider it as equation 1. So 1 becomes... Sine inverse of dy by dx is dz by dx minus 1 equals to x plus y. Replace x plus y by z. Then dz by dx minus 1 equals to sine z. Okay. Now, take this minus 1 to RHS, you will get dz by dx equals to 1 plus sin z. Now, you can write this differential equation in variable separable form. Since you are having dz in the numerator, so you can take all the z terms in LHS and you can take all the x terms in RHS. So, in LHS, you will get 1 by 1 plus sin z into dz equals to dx. Okay, we don't have any x terms, right? Except the differential dx. Fine. having 1 by 1 plus sin z, right? 1 by 1 plus sin z. See, in the denominator, you are having two terms. So, we will make it to one term by rationalizing the denominator. That is, we will multiply and divide with 1 minus sin z since you are having plus here. So, this becomes 1 minus sin z by 1 plus sin z into 1 minus sin z which is equals to 1 minus sin z by the denominators of the form a plus b into a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square. Okay. Fine. 
So you can write it as 1 minus sin z by 1 minus sin square z. We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Then if you take this sin square theta to RHS, you'll get cos square theta equals to 1 minus sin square theta. Right? Now we can replace the denominator that is 1 minus sin square z by cos square z. So this equals to 1 minus sin z by cos square z. Right? So now we can replace 1 by 1 plus sin z by 1 by 1 plus sin z by 1 minus sin z by cos square z. See now you are having one term in the denominator. So this equals to 1 minus sin z by cos square z. into dz equals to dx. Now, this is in variable separable form. By integrating on both sides, integral 1 minus sine z by cos square z into dz equals to integral dx. Since you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so you can split the total fraction into two fractions. Then, integral of 1 by cos square z minus sin z by cos square z into dz equals to integral dx. Again, you can write it as 1 by cos square z minus sin z by here you are having cos square z. So, I am writing it as cos z into cos z into dx equals to integral dx. Since we know that 1 by cos theta equals to secant theta. Then, if you square on both sides, you will get 1 by cos square theta equals to secant square theta. And sin theta by cos theta equals to tan theta. Right? Now, we can replace 1 by cos square z by secant square z. Sin z over cos z can be replaced by tan theta or tan z and 1 by cos z can be replaced by secant z. Now we can write it as integral of 1 by cos square z by secant z, sorry, secant square z. Simply we will replace 1 by cos square z by secant square z minus sin z. Again, you could write it as, okay, for our convenience, right. Now uh, replace sin z by cos z by tan z into 1 by cos z by secant z into dz equals to integral dx. Then, okay, then integral secant square z into dz minus integral tan z secant z into dz equals to integral dx. Since we know that 
integral secant square theta d theta equals to tan theta plus integral constant c and integral secant theta into tan theta into d theta equals to secant theta plus integral constant c and also integral dx equals to x plus integral constant c by applying this formula we will get integral secant square z dz is tan z minus integral secant theta that is secant z into tan z into dz equals to secant z equals to integral dx is x plus integral constant c. Okay. Now put x plus y that is z equals to x plus y. Now put z equals to x plus y then we will get tan of x plus y minus secant of x plus y equals to x plus c which is general solution for the differential equation that is given differential equation I can say. Therefore, tan of x plus y minus secant of x plus y equals to x plus integral constant c is the required solution for the given differential equation. So we have seen a problem from variables as separable method. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.